Namaskar, I am Professor Dr. Manoj Kalandri from Ishan Zipuriyam. Today I have an interesting video for you and this video is to do with this bunch of malas. This bunch of malas are from Indonesia and they belong to a category of beads called Kiswanto. There is a very interesting story behind this Kiswanto. It is said in Indonesia that the name Kiswanto has come because once a farmer got these beads to sell and the local people asked him where did you get these beads from the farmer misunderstood this question and thought they were asking his name so he said Kiswanto so from then onwards this bead has been named Kiswanto well friends the idea behind this video is to suggest and also request you not to buy Kiswanto beads the simple reason being is I have a five mukhi mala in my hands. These are all five mukhi malas. The lines of the five mukhi or the mukhs, the facets, the channels are not clearly visible to the common man. And even under a lens or a microscope, they would hardly be visible clearly. It is very important to buy a Rudraksha wherein right from the mouth or right from the head to the tail. The lines of the, the mukhi should be clearly visible as even a simple, most commonly available five mukhi does not have a clear right. Think about the higher mukhis, where will be the clarity of the lines? And in our shastras, it's always been said if the lines or the muks are not clear, these danas or these beads or rudraksha beads are not considered to be superior quality. They are rather considered to be of inferior quality. So do not buy any bead which does not have a clear line or clear muk depicted on it. So friends, this is all for this time. Till we uh, meet again. Shivam Kalyanam. Please share the video if you have liked the video. Thank you.